What is up, man? Info 25 gamers. In today's episode of offense, or excuse me, in today's episode of defense, let's we're ready to take a look at our base zone coverage. It comes out of our quick audibles, which is really nice. Um, so we, our base play for this uh, defense is the cover three bluff. We can use this as a base zone. What I like to do most is grab the cover two sink. I'll globally zone my linebackers. I'll man align. I'll baseline press, and then I'll get this look right here. And I like to, what I like to do with this. You see how these guys uh, on the outside are pretty much going out of bounds? Put them in deep blue zones. And then you can put these safeties in the yellows, make an inverted cover two called a sky's cushion. And now you're playing kind of like a Tampa 2 style attack. You're using the middle of the field, so you're not going to get creamed over the top. And it provides very good coverage, guys. It's almost like a V uh, or a diamond, if you will, in the middle of the field. It's very difficult to get beat deep because of the inverted of the deep blue zone. So real quick, how do we do that again? Um, call cover two sync. It's your uh, cover two audible. You're going to globally zone your linebackers. You're going to grab these two safeties, put them in yellow zones. And then you're going to grab Skyreen, and you're going to grab Hayden, and you're going to put them in a deep blue. And then you're going to base align, press, or excuse me, you're going to man align, and then you're going to baseline press. And then I like to call either, well, you know, you're manually going to use this side, the middle. So basically it's just an outside flood of zones, and it's your job to keep the middle. That's the only, that's the only thing, and if you don't want, that's the first setup. You don't have to run that. If you don't like that, if you want to be a little bit more stronger in the middle of the field, well, then just do the following. You know, if you want to be strong in the middle field, crash line out, spread line, uh, globally zone the linebackers, baseline press. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, um, excuse me, you don't have to go heavy outside coverage. You can go heavy inside coverage. No reason you can't. They're still going to cover the curl routes and out routes. And this is just a very good coverage and then you know you're going to get back there you're going to lb swat and, and, and play a game but this is the base zone coverage guys and then one other coverage i really like the cover three uh, and then i'll just globally zone the linebackers and do all the stuff all the tricks we did out of cover two sink um man align so that the zones play wider and then i'm using in the middle of the field and the thing i love about this is i, I can be really aggressive with my user control player because i have that deep blue behind me so i can be as aggressive as i want underneath and i still have really really good coverage um, so real quick, uh, we'll show you that one more time. Cover three, what you do is you're going to call cover three. You're going to globally zone your linebackers, man a line, baseline press, crash line out, spread line, by one of the guys. And then you're done. It's all a global setup. That's why it's so fast and easy to be done. And then, you know, they try throwing curl routes on you. You got three guys there. So really, really effective coverage defenses. I like to mix both of them up uh, depending on the situation, whether I want a three deep or a two deep shell. Uh, but it's always good to have good zone coverage in your defense. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the run defense.